your girl Kadrice, and you already know today is Freak Yourself Friday. Okay. <laughs> so, um, right now I'm just, uh, you know, trying to hurry up, record this video for you guys. I don't want to rush it, but I do need to, like, you know, make it quick because what y'all don't know is on Fridays, I really do record the video on Friday. So, I have to edit it and everything on Friday. So, it kind of, you know, sometimes can be a lot because I have a lot of other stuff to do. And right now, my baby is sick. So, I kind of need to, like, you know, take care of him. So, yeah. So, let's just get to it, okay? So, today, I just want to talk to you guys about just knowing that you know, just letting you know that you are worthy. You know, you're worthy of God love, okay? You are worthy for great things to happen. You are worthy for miracles. And every day you should be expecting a miracle. Or you should at least every day put it in your mind that miracles are supposed to happen to you. That miracles are normal. Miracles are not a once in a blue moon kind of thing. Mir miracles are not something that just happens to certain people. Okay, you are worthy. And, you know, lately I've been having conversations with people and, you know, we talk about God and stuff. And, you know, some of the things that I'm getting from the people that I talk to is just basically people are not feeling worthy of God love or feeling like God may not forgive them for what they have actually done in their life. And I just want to let y'all know that, you know, you are worthy. So today... You need to take action, take a stance to know that you are worthy of God's love. Never feel discouraged about, you know, coming to God after you have done, you know, a lot of things that you know that goes against his word. Because, see, you have always been God's child and you will always be God's child. And God is a forgiving God. You shouldn't take advantage of his forgiveness, but you should know that God is a forgiving God. So, no matter what you do, God is there. But you know that you have to repent. And just like I said in my last video, you still have to forgive yourself. Because a lot of people feel like they're not worthy. So they believe in God, but they don't really serve God the way they should. And worship him the way they should. And come to him and pray to him the way they should. Because they haven't forgiven themselves. So they don't see and understand how can God truly love them after they've done, done things that they know goes against his word. But the thing about it is, God don't choose perfect people he never picks perfect people everyone everybody that he has ever you know called to minister preach just spread his word and we're all supposed to spread god's word however everyone that he has put in that platform to be a leader was far from perfect when they was called and they grew in god's god's word and grew you know, and God's love and grew in a relationship with God that made them, you know, capable and able to live a righteous life. So you have to understand that God don't call perfect people. So just because you have done things in your past doesn't mean that God is not there and he won't forgive you and that he don't still have a great destiny for you. You just have to take those steps to actually repent to him and move forward with him. You need to be honest with God. You need to talk to God. It's not certain words that you have to say. You have to literally just talk to God. Just talk to him. Literally just say, God, you know, I'm sorry I repent for my sins. I want your love. I want to follow you. I want to worship you. I want to do what it is that you called me to do. I want your will for my life and not mine. You know, less of me, more of you. It's simple. So I just want to let everybody know today, like, don't be discouraged. I am not a perfect person. And I am and I never said I was a perfect person. And God didn't call me to sit up here and do Free Yourself Fridays because I'm perfect or because anything like that. He called me because I have a story to tell just like everyone else has a story to tell. He called me to do this. And yes, this is something that, you know, God has pushed me to do. Because this is something that... I have been sitting on for about a couple years now, but I decided to finally do it now. Finally, because I decided to get up out my comfort zone, 
and not care about what people had to say about me and start to speak on God. But this is something that I had to grow into. So I just want to encourage everyone today, you know, to just always remember that you are worthy. You are worthy of God's love. You are literally like you are worthy of God's love. And maybe one time, you know, I would just tell my testimony so you guys can really see that, you know, he, God don't call perfect people. He called people that that's not perfect, that been through things. He calls people to spread his word and preach and, and just be a witness for a reason. He uses people. And that's what you have to understand. Sometimes you go through things not for yourself but for others so that you can teach others about that situation. So never feel discouraged. Never feel discouraged. And, and discouraged, yeah, whatever. <laughs> just never be... You know, in a place where you feel like you so low that you cannot come to God. When it's at your lowest place that God wants you to really come to him. He wants you to come to him when he's good, but he wants you to come to him at your lowest place. So if you feel like you've been broken to the point of no return, then that's when you need to turn around and go ahead and start talking to God. It's not a bad thing if you feel like you're at your lowest point. You feel like you're at the point where you just feel like you just can't go up no more. If you tired of being used and abused and abused, if you tired of, you know, just being on drugs, if you're tired of anything, know that that's when you need to go ahead and talk to God and ask him to help you through it. Don't sit up here and turn away and keep sinking and sinking and sinking because you feel like you're at a point where you cannot touch him. And know that God is always with you. He's with you through your bad times as well. And I just wanted to, you know, share this with everybody because I'm not sure who needs to hear it. But these are the conversations that I be having with people. And I just want to let anybody else know that maybe I can't talk to personal one-on-one, -on -one, but may see this video. I just want y'all to know that you are worthy for this. And stop thinking that just because you came from another religion that you can't come over to, to God. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, the guy is not phased about you used to be this religion or you used to be that religion or you used to not believe in God. You used to be an atheist. He's not concerned about that. He's concerned about you now. He's concerned about are you coming to him now? What are you going to do now that you know better? And stop thinking that you have to be so advanced in a level of God that everybody else is an advanced in a level of God. The pastor is at a level for a reason. He's at that level for a reason. God is not expecting you to be at the same level as the pastor is with knowing the Bible or with, you know, everything else. Like, he's not expecting that. But he's expecting you to grow and take it day by day and step by step. He's expecting for you to put time into him every day. So if you're praying one time a day, that's better than not praying at all. And you just work it. Work it. I didn't start out praying three times a day or, or how, how many times I pray. I pray all the time, but I didn't start out praying all the time throughout the day automatically. No, I started out by simply praying here and there and then picking it up, make sure I'm doing it every day, make sure I'm at least thanking him for waking, waking me up and, and at least praying to him to ask him to protect me while I'm sleeping, watch over me and, and things like that. So I'm letting you know that I didn't start out this bold in God. You know what I'm saying? So don't think that, oh, you're just not worthy of anything because you're not, you know, confident in God the way you see other people. Or, you know, that you are not doing and living life the way that you see other people live and do life. Don't feel like you're not worthy of that. You are worthy of God's love. So I'm going to end it here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video for others that need to watch it. Or, hey, give them your phone. Give them, pass it on your computer. Whatever you're watching it on, whatever screen you're watching it on, let somebody see this. Because these videos are not just for entertainment. Maybe my other videos may be. But these videos right here are seriously to help people come to God. Seriously to help people see that God is looking for his children and, and you know, and want his children here by his side when that day come. Okay? Let's just all take a deep breath. And tell ourselves every day that you are worthy. If you have to, and if you really cannot, you know, if it cannot just stick in your head, say it every day. Every day, I am worthy of God's love. I am loved by God. I am God's child. 
you are worthy, okay? When Jesus died on the cross for everybody, he died on the cross for everybody. Nobody was excluded. It was for everybody. So everybody has a fair opportunity to come to God. Even if you was in a different religion. It's not about religion, but I'm saying, even if you was in a whole different religion that believe a whole different thing, you are still worthy enough to come to this, come to God and, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're still worthy of that. So now I'm really going to end it. Make sure you like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell and everything like that.